I have just returned from a trip and I can share some tips with you. So make sure to watch this video till the end. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. I just cannot wait to tell you how exciting it was. I did not just have a beautiful sun bath and get tanned there, but also had a lovely time trekking from Fira to Ia and the view was beyond gorgeous. Anyhow, moving on to the practical tips that might come in handy for you. Let's start and let's dive in. The first one, as soon as I landed there, I got to know that the tap water is not portable. So make sure that you check whether the tap water is desalinated or not. You can ask your hotel and make sure to only consume the clean water if you are drinking tap water. It's always safer to drink from the bottle. And anyway, even if the tap water is clean, it may not have the best taste because it's very salty. So make sure that you check that before you consume the tap water. Next, I had been living in Athens before going to Santorini, so I was aware of this rule. But if you're landing directly to Santorini, it might be helpful to know that you're not supposed to flush the toilet paper into the toilet seat. You have to use the bin that is kept in the bathroom instead of flushing the toilet paper down. This is true even if it's not explicitly mentioned anywhere or there's no notice put but make sure that you don't end up clogging the plumbing system there. When it comes to money matters, Santorini has a lot of ATMs around and you can easily find them, but I would highly suggest taking some cash with you because there can be some shops which will only accept cash and also the fee of withdrawing money can be really high. It was almost four euros when I checked. So if you want to avoid that high fee with your international travel card or, or debit card or credit card, make sure that you carry some cash with you. Next practical tip is to know about the electrical systems. Santorini operates on 220 volts of electricity, so make sure that you carry your travel adapters or power banks fully charged with you in case you are traveling from a country with different voltage. You do not want to be caught with dead batteries on your way to your trek or during your time at the beach, so make sure that you take care of your electrical accessories. Next one is making sure that you carry some change with you because public washrooms have some fee and they will charge you in some cents. So keep your coins handy and just in case you need to use a public bathroom, you might end up paying for it in say 20, 30, 40 cents. So keep that change ready with you. Santorini has stunning beaches. I spent almost half a day just laying down at the Kamari beach and it was beyond gorgeous. But also with that, make sure that you carry your cover-ups or extra clothes with you in case you're planning to go for a walk around in the city or even going to the churches after your sun bath. The beach wear is only for the beach, so make sure that you carry some cover-ups along with you. Now let's talk about something that caught me off guard. It's the expense of groceries. Of course, Santorini has limited resources and all of the groceries are shipped from the mainland to the island. So if you are planning to save on some money, you can carry some of the snacks uh, with you when you are traveling away from the mainland or your previous travel point that is a clever way to save your money and also satisfy your hunger next as you explore the whitewashed beautiful streets of Santorini make sure that you don't end up putting your feet in the private properties it is hard to distinguish where it starts but there usually are small placards or display boards which tell you that it's a private property and you should not be going in be mindful of that and respect private places do not get in there even if you see other people taking pictures or stepping in there it might be that they've already taken permissions or they are paying for it but if you do not have permissions do not go in there speaking of respect it is important to be mindful of people's privacy in a lot of hotels or resorts you will see that the private pool area is also visible publicly so make sure that you do not take pictures or videos without permissions or of that area in which the people who are staying there might feel uncomfortable be mindful of that and always respect people's privacy i hope and wish that never happens to you but just in case you fall sick or if you have a medical emergency santorini does have great medical assistance you simply need to call the number 112 and most likely you will be serviced in english santorini has so much to offer it's not just the beaches or the beautiful streets it's also the volcanic terrain and the local cuisine and culture so go ahead enjoy your experience there and i hope these practical tips came in handy for you and you're able to enjoy your time there do drop your experiences or other practical tips in the comments below and wait for my next video bye bye